Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Eddie Marcus here again. Today, I want to talk to you about one of the most evil men in America. One of the most evil men in America is Donald Trump. As spokesman and advocate of basic human rights for all people, it is my duty and responsibility, recognizing based upon what the disposition is, <coughs> to share it with you. This man, basically, I would call demonic. And I say demonic with the ability to draw people from every walk of life to join evil. This, my friends, to destroy humanity. You, would you believe that? This is exactly what they're doing, trying to destroy humanity. Now, let me say it again, because I think some of you might have missed it. One of the most evil men in America is Donald Trump. Every time he gets a chance to open his mouth, he tells the world, I am one of the most. He one really wants to say the most, but he's not sure of that just yet. At least we aren't. And he has the ability to all of the people in America who are that low. I mean, you know, most people, all people are evil, but these are at the lowest part. They see Trump and people like Trump and they can't wait to join with them. Right in America right now, you get Republicans and white people and black people all joining with Trump because they want to see what Trump and what evil advocates. See, evil advocates, what, what does evil advocates? Evil says that this group, evil, are more deserving. They say that these people are the better people. They are the strong people and they are entitled to everything. So this being the case, they're willing to rip off all of the resources. They're willing to do all of that. They're willing to kill. They're willing to, to go into Israel and kill. They're willing to come into Gaza and kill. They're willing to go into the United States and kill. They're willing to go into Ukraine and kill. You, everywhere, they're willing to go and kill. This is how they try to prove, uh, uh, convince everybody that they are <clears throat> the most deserving. And ladies and gentlemen, they still call themselves blessed by God. And they try to do things what scripture says is it's uh, requiring to be done by God, like a temple. And so they go out and try to build temples, you know, material, physical temples. And that mean nothing. But this is how they interpret it. They have no idea what God is about. They have no idea about what God's plan is. So those temples mean nothing. But the true temple that means something is your soul. Your true temple that means something is you. It determines who you are, how you are. And what people are doing that's following Trump, they realize they don't know it, but they are the temple. They are the temples of evil. And the big building with the big dome on top of it, is when they get destroyed, it's just an indication of what they have subscribed to. Now, there is something that has been said that thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Now, evil people, they're never going to support that. They will never support that. See, when you say thy will be done on heaven, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven, they're talking about you, your soul, that you change. And once you have changed, you don't have to worry about society. Because it's just a mirror of who you are. In America, you got a mirror of who America is today. They got all this evil with Trump. So they're throwing it at the nation. Throwing it at the nation. And you got all the people in America that's not that evil just yet. And so they want to hold on it by exposing it, trying to draw attention. See how evil this is? See how evil this is? And what they're doing is really creating more evil because they're making evil popular. They're making it normal. And then you say, well, we don't want to go that far. But they don't want to do the right thing. See, the righteous thing, which thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven, you got to be changed, born again to see some stuff like that. Otherwise, what you see is the same stuff that's happening all over the earth. Thy will be done on earth, ladies and gentlemen, as it is in heaven. Means there's none of this stuff going on, this pain and suffering. 
thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven? What does that suggest? That suggests, first of all, that everybody is satisfied. Nobody up in heaven that's dissatisfied. That's going to stay up there. No, no. They are satisfied. And how do you do that? They were made in such a way that everybody who's going to live has to participate in their living. Yeah, a car was made to go. It wasn't made just sitting on display. So people were made to do. And what are they to do? To create. And what are they to create? The stuff that they love the most. That's that they can do the best at. Everybody engaging themselves in life. The resources all over the earth is there for that purpose. Now see, that is to protect you so that thy will can be done on earth as it is in heaven. And once you're doing these kinds of things, you're creating heaven. But you don't want to hear that. In America, they don't want to hear that. Don't no preachers teach you that. No church teach you that. No what you call religious order teaches you that. No secret society teaches you that. No governmental structure teaches you that. So where do you get that from? You get that through going through some stuff. You suffer, brother. You know it's no good. And if you're really on the right track, you wouldn't call that suffering to anyone else. You're on the wrong track. You're just waiting to get even. See, when Israel says um, uh, the Palestinians came over there and did this damage to over a thousand some people, look, Israel said, I can't wait. Now they got 10,000s or 15,000s. They're just saying, I'm a bigger devil. They tell him, Hamas, you thought you were a devil? You haven't seen a devil yet because I'm going to wipe you out. That's what this devil from Israel is saying. And the people are supporting it. They, they, you know, that's their team. You came and did this to us. Somebody told me that they were raping uh, the, the women that they had taken from, kidnapped from Israel. And they were dragging them through the streets in, in uh, Gaza. And people were applauding. That's it. But you can't shoot that out with a gun. You got to change your way of doing things. There was something that created what was happening on both sides of the fence. It had nothing to do with God. It had to do with the anti-God. And so when I come to you in 40 years and talking about thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And you totally don't know a thing about it after these 40 years. You're still scared to mention it. But you'll be on that television. You'll be on every soapbox you can possibly reach telling people about the evil of Donald Trump. But you won't listen about one thing. Well, for the most part, people are not advocating it in America or anywhere else in the world. So I guess it's all justified. I thought I'd just share that with you today, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know what value you'll get, but I'm so glad I was able to give it. Until next time, Eddie Marcus saying goodbye for now.